The mouse is your hand's plaything, but idle hands are the devil's. Write and ask me if I'd be interested in taking a look at their new gaming mouse, and to be honest with you, that logo is so cute, I just couldn't say no. The Red Imp GM200 gaming mouse features an Avago A3050 sensor featuring a 1000Hz polling rate, a bit of acceleration that can be disabled, kind of, and 5 DPI steps of 1100, 1600, 2000, 3000, and 4000, each associated with blue, red, green, yellow, and purple respectively by default. If you boogie over to Red Imp's site, you can acquire their software to adjust DPI to as low as 500 and as high as 4000, as well as customize the colors to your liking and tweak some effects. There's a static color effect, a breathing effect, and then a couple of combo effects. Elsewhere in the software, you can customize macros for the seven programmable buttons. By default, there are forward and back thumb buttons, left, right, and middle click, and a DPI cycle and LED toggle button around the top. But you can change them to other pre-programmed inputs like rapid fire and media buttons. Custom macros can be edited to your liking with the exception of mouse movement. You even get five profiles. The little demon I'm using has a matte black finish and weighs in at 160 grams. His adorable little bottom has a metal plate with three Teflon feet for smooth gliding. And then you've got the 1.8 meter red and black rated cable. The scroll wheel has soft steps, but all other buttons are nice and tactile, and apparently rated for 20 million clicks, which I find kind of hard to believe, but ain't nobody got time for that. All that being said, no wonder people make deals with the devil. Starting at 15 US dollars on Amazon, how can you even turn this down? Well, the devil's also got some sass, and for those of you with larger hands, he will not hesitate to give you some lip. The base of the device wraps around the mouse buttons, so you palm grippers with larger hands may find this to be a bit distracting. Those of you with smaller hands or claw grippers should be fine. Speaking of grip type, given the mouse's shorter profile, it might feel a little strange for those who like their palms intimate with their mice. Regarding the mouse's shape, while it's got an ambidextrous body, the thumb button placement really makes it ideal for right-handed users. Additionally, I feel that RGB devices should maintain color neutrality among anything that's not an RGB LED. The red and black braided cable would have been better desaturated in my opinion. If I had anything else to complain about, the lighting isn't totally even on the sides, but that's just me being nitpicky. Last thing to note before anyone else panics like I did, I initially thought the feet were wearing out, but there's apparently a protective plastic film covering them for your peeling pleasure. After several weeks of use, I'm having a rough time criticizing this mouse. The matte black version fits comfortably in my hand, the material is pleasant to the touch, and from a gaming standpoint, the only complaint I have, despite being able to turn the acceleration off, is you might still notice it. Such is the nature of the more budget-oriented sensor. This makes using it for competitive play less appealing, but then again, if that's what you're into, you'd probably aim to spend a little more on a mouse anyway. For 15 bucks, you get a lot of functionality in their software, even though it does look a little Windows 95-ish. They have a cobweb design for 17 US dollars as well, but functionality should be the same. If you're looking for a budget gaming mouse with RGB functionality and programmable macro buttons, I'd say there's no need to look any further. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and pick up one of these bad boys and raise hell. Thanks for watching, my name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. But idle hands are the devils. I think I did that out of order. I, was, I mean, not out of order, but like I did the hand thing out of. I don't know. The Red MGM 200 gaming mouse feet. The Red MGM 200 gaming mouse features an Avago A3050. Yeah, that one. Featuring a 1000 Hz polling rate, a bit of acceleration that can be disabled, kind of. A 5 DPI. Oh, oops. Featuring a 1000 Hz polling rate, a bit of acceleration that can be disabled, kind of. A 5. Oh, I did it again. As well as customize the colors to your liking and tweak some. Uh, if you boogie over to Red M's site, you can acquire their software to adjust the. Ad adjust the. Uh, if you boogie over to Red M's site, you can acquire their software to. Software. software. Elsewhere in the software, you can custom customize. You can customize seven macros for the seven. Nope, that's not right. Elsewhere in the software, you can customize macros for the seven programmable bu buttons. Macros for the seven programmable bu pro programmable programmable buttons for the seven programmable program pro programmable buttons. The seven programmable what programmable buttons. The seven programmable but pro custom macros can be edited ed edit edited. This makes using it for competitive play less appealing. But then again, if that's what you're into. My voice cracked.
If you're looking for a budget gaming mouse with RGB functionality and programmable, programmable, there it is again. 